Hey y'all, this is New Kid on the Block Tarot. So Gemini, we got a read for y'all today. Today we're going to be doing how your person is currently feeling about you at this moment. <clears throat> like, share, subscribe. This is New Kid on the Block Tarot, y'all. Oh, shit. Your person. <laughs> your person on some freaky shit. Because some of y'all, I really feel like they on some freaky shit. They thinking about the sex. They like they like how you bend over for them. They like how you spread them legs. <laughs> for some of y'all, you may be flexible and your person like that. You may do some real freaky shit to them. Some tricks. And for another group of y'all, this person just feels open with you. Like they feel like they can express themselves with you. They can be themselves with you. For some of y'all, it may be a same sex relationship. This person feel like they can be open with you, like they can talk to you though. They comfortable with you. You could be easy to talk to. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about you. You got this person fucked up in the head. They thinking about it all. They thinking about your sex. <laughs> they thinking about how you love them. They thinking about how they love you. I can't stop thinking about you. No. No. Okay. They let you know. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to stop thinking about you. But they still having a hard time building up the strength to reach out to you. They scared. Okay, my bad, Gemini's. I was getting a call. Sorry about that. Anyways. So this person want to reach out to you, y'all. They want to reach out to you and talk to you. But they don't know if you want to talk to them. They feel like the answer is going to be no. If you reach out to them, they don't know if you're going to tell them, hell no, bitch, don't call me, whatever. They scared. So that's why they haven't reached out to you yet. Why is open here? They can't let you go, though. Soulmate. This person feel like you are their soulmate. And that's why they feel like they can be open with you. They feel like they can do anything with you. Explore new things in life. Y'all may have talked about doing a whole bunch of new shit that you never did with nobody else before. You and this person probably had a deeper bond than you ever had with anybody. You feel like... This person feels like the relationship don't need time to grow. They feel like y'all already have a strong enough bond to where y'all can be with each other and not have to keep starting over when things go bad, when every little bad thing happens. They feel like you should stay with them. Sometimes, you know what, for some of y'all, I'm feeling like this person could feel like they, this person could feel like either you are using them and they feel like they enable your boundaries. But for another group of y'all, I'm feeling like this person think they can get over on you sometimes. Sometimes this person feel like it's easy to get over on you because you I ain't going to say y'all like gullible or nothing like that. But cause sometimes this person feel like it's easy to get over on you. And for another group of y'all, I'm feeling like this person don't trust you. Because they feel like no matter what they do, yeah, you're a soulmate. Yeah, you're open with them. But at the same time, you can snap and, and, and bite them at any moment. Some of y'all, this person don't trust you. They see you as a snake. They think you stabbed them in the back and broke their heart when you broke up with them. Why is stabbed in the back here? Something shocking happened. And it left this person heartbroken. Or they think you're heartbroken over something that they did to you. 
This person is codependent on you too. They they are obsessed with you. They may be a little possessive of you. They don't want you fucking with nobody else. This person is real. They addicted to you. They love having sex with you. They they addicted to you. They codependent on you. They need they feel like they need you around. They like you, but at the same time, they look at you as one of their options. This could have been somebody that you were originally going to have a one night stand with and just let them go. But you got wrapped up into the relationship with them. This person probably even had bitches call your phone or if you're a man, another man called your phone. This person had people calling your phone or they had other people in competition with you. They breadcrumb you because they made it they made it seem like this was supposed to be a one night thing between y'all, but it turned into something more and now they couldn't bag out of it. And they had all these options and didn't know what to do with it. But they still wanted to make something happen with you. They didn't know how to get serious. I can't stop thinking about you here. The Gemini. So this person can't stop thinking about you. But for some of y'all, this person may be in a relationship. They're not single. They spending time with the person that they with, even though they're not moving on from you. Why is this here? And for some of y'all, this person don't think you single. They think you out here um, dealing with somebody else. And you telling them you ain't moved on from them. Yeah, for some of y'all, this person don't think you single. Yeah, they think about you and they love you. They love you a lot, shit. They do anything for you. They fell in love with you from the start. But at the same time, they feel like the relationship is dead. It's, it's over with. It's no coming back from it because they feel like you're in a relationship with somebody else. Gemini. Yeah, and they feel like that's why the things are not changing between the two of y'all. Because you're in a relationship. That's why you're being cold and detached with them. You may be keeping them at a distance or can talk to them as a friend from time to time. And you come off as not being mad at this person and this person don't understand that. They don't understand how you could be so calm about the fact that y'all are not together. Like you acting like it's nothing. And they don't they don't understand that. They want you to feel the pain. They want you to deal with it like they dealing with it. Why is no here? You could have had two motherfuckers confused too. Like you could have been making this feel like you could have been making two people feel like they was in a relationship, Gemini. And or you could have made one person or you could have been in a relationship with one person and made another person feel like they were in a relationship. And you had these two people arguing, trying to figure out who the fuck do you belong to or what the fuck is you on because you're not giving somebody the full story. Yeah, this person like, no, they don't have any, they trying to deny the passion they have for you. They like, no, I don't have no passion for Gemini. If people ask, they deny having feelings for you. They be like, no, I don't have no feelings for this person or no, I don't want this person. But they do still have passion for you. They feel like you fun. They feel like y'all equally yoke. Y'all match each other fly. But they feel like it's some, some, some big shit happening. Something happened that changed this person's perspective with you. They want happiness with you, but they don't know if they can get it. They don't know if they can welcome that love with you, but they see you as the one that they want to be with and possibly try to build something with, but they don't know if they should keep the memories with you or just move forward. 
it's like they stopping themselves from feeling anything for, for you. Why is reaching out here? This person gonna be reaching out to you. They probably already did reach out to you. Yeah, this is your twin flame. This is the person you meant to be with. Y'all are meant to change each other or um, bring some type of balance to each other life. You and your twin flame are separated right now. And this person is sad. They in their feelings about you. They thinking about you. They don't know what's gonna happen in the future. They wanna reach out to you so bad, but they don't even know what they are gonna say. They don't know where to start. They just want to be close to you. They want to be happy. This person may have got some money recently. And they're trying to stay positive. So they can manifest what they want. Which is you. This person is grateful. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, Jim, somebody's in a relationship, a karmic relationship, a karmic connection. So you got your soulmate here and you got your karm your karmic. Somebody got to make a choice. Because this karmic relationship is triggering your twin flame. So Gemini, if it's you that's creeping around, your twin flame can feel that. And that, that's why things are not working out. That's how this person feels about you. They they love you, but at the same time, they don't know. Well, they know what you're doing. They, they feel like you're in a, another relationship. And they want to have a conversation about it. Coffee cup. Your, your twin flame wants to talk about this. Why is karmic relationship here? This karmic is trying to let you go and heal from you. Okay. Give me some tarot, general tarot for Gemini, general tarot for Gemini. Oh, that's okay. You don't want to feel stuck. You don't want to feel trapped. In a connection. You don't want to feel. Gemini you don't want to feel trapped in a relationship. And you don't want to live in the past either. You want to be free. You yeah. You just want to be free to give to whoever you want to give to. Why is that here? But you could. You could be refusing to change. Even though you want happiness. And that could be another thing that's keeping you stuck. Gemini. And you're going to have to let go of the grudges that you're holding for other people. You need to drop those burdens. Holding on the grudges is keeping you stuck. It's time for you to release that burden. And a lot of y'all are being really irresponsible with your money right now. And it's time for you to get more grounded with your money. Some of y'all could be a single father. Or just a single parent. Yeah, you want commitment one day. You want it. Why is the hierarchy here? You want it, but since it's not working out for you, you, you like the hell with it right now. You ain't you ain't really focused on it right now. Because you feel like you lost somebody that you were really supposed to be with and have a family with. Some of y'all could have lost, um, not saying literally lost, but some of y'all could have lost a relationship with the mother of your child or the father of your child. And y'all dissatisfied with how shit is working out, even though you got options or even though you got other people sitting here waiting on you to, to talk to them. Yeah, you just, somebody being stubborn, just not taking any action. And they feel like since ain't shit going in my favor... I'm going to call the big ass tower moment and just ooh, wait until I get my way. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and wait until I get my way since ain't shit shaking for me. Somebody being stubborn. They sitting on their throne waiting until somebody come get them up off that motherfucker. Like, hey, we'll be together when you work this shit out. 
And it may be well within their right, Gemini. If you the one that's playing games. Yeah. Yeah, something's not working out or somebody's not happy about it. Okay. You need some advice for Gemini. Gemini, pay attention to the signs. Your loved ones may be trying to talk to you, get your attention. They may be trying to give you advice that you may need. It's time for y'all to spend more time outside. Stop being so cooped up in the house. You need to see fucking sunlight. And before y'all rush into something and make a decision, you need to wait. Listen to some music. Music may be um, relevant to you right now. If, if y'all got a pet, like a dog or something like that, spend more time with your dog. Take your dog outside, take him for a walk. If y'all got a cat, go outside and let the bitch roam free. <laughs> Not the bitch, let the cat roam free. But it's time for you to like bring positive energy into your life and stop thinking so negative. Bring balance into your life. That's what you're missing right now. So right now we're gonna do a time frame card. I mean, not a time frame card, y'all. We're going to do a um, yes or no card. So if you have a yes or no question, I want you to get your question ready. I'm going to count to seven, and then y'all will be able to get your yes or no question. I'm going to count to seven in my head, y'all, because I've been counting out loud all night. Okay. Okay, Gemini. You got your yes or no question? Doubtful. So if you was wondering something, it's possibly a no. Doubtful. Okay. Oh shit. Use your intuition popped out too. So it's, it's more than likely you already know the answer to whatever it is that you're looking for and you know that it's probably a no. We're going to get a time frame card. When could things possibly start looking up in this connection for Gemini and this person? Two months. It's going to take two months for y'all to get this right. If this is something that you are looking to be in long term. Okay. Like, share, subscribe, Gemini. This is New Kid on the Block Tarot. I'm out. Thank you.